family. Back again in two weeks, a new video. something from somewhere, from some book. All these books are cubes. I told you all these books are cubes. Who wrote them? Who put them together? The people that carried out reset and uh, wars of conquest and treaties and all of that stuff. They wrote the books. They own the printing uh, industry. They own the money. They print the books and they tell you whatever the hell they want. And you got these simple town Negroes Go study. Okay, man, I have respect for you. You're trying to find something. You're trying to do something. But I'm going to tell you guys that you are all lost. I'm going to repeat. You are all lost. You are all zombies. You are all fools. They even had Fool's Day yesterday. First April. They call Fool's Day, man, because they're all fools. Your son is a role of fools. And they destroy us with that religion and that religion and all that they gave you is religion, science is religion, history is religion, the old geography is religion. And you are a platonic uh, simulation. Sana. If you don't know what that is, go try to find out, go do some research about what platonic simulation is meant to mean. Yeah? I don't mean speaking parables to you guys, but since you like parables, all religion likes parables. I don't know the use of the damn parable. Because you can't even, you know, search that stuff. But here we go, they all devils people, they all deceived. How the hell are you going to come on YouTube, get millions of views, telling people you know science, yeah? Telling people the earth is spinning, the earth is this, the earth is that. But nobody can verify that. Nobody can travel to the end of the earth to verify shit. It's all a supposition. It's all a deduction. It's all numbers that they, deal, they tell you they're dealing with because they don't have the eyes to see. They can't go there. They, they platonic. They in this cave, and then they just see seeing shadows, and they believe that the shadows are real. Platonic simulation, man. Yeah, all these niggas are got their brain. They got their brain inside their books. They just like to have this nigga with the brain inside the Bible and can let it go. It's the same shit, man. You need to wake the hell up, pack your stuff, and restart thinking differently. You start thinking freely. You start thinking without fear, without stress, without uh, assuming that somebody told you something real. Yeah. Nothing is real until you confirm that it's real. Or are you just living in a platonic simulation, man? The whole thing they tell you, religion, the science, and the history. And they all come together as one in the end of the day. And they all support all the state agendas, as you see. They, they never contradict each other or nothing. They always holding hands together. 
the religious and the science. You're going to have Asians on YouTube t- trying to tell you that science is a different thing, but it's not, people. It's all a lie. They all lie. These are delinquents and criminals telling you that, that science is not a religion. It is, it is a religion, as I explained to you. They do something for, you know, taking your soul, keeping you in a, in a repetitive paradigm that you seek and you need shots. Yeah, and only they can save you? Wow. And you got this platonic experiment. Yeah. They only look to the world. Which is what? The media, the TV, the books that they wrote, everything. But they don't have no uh, real experience in the real world about the things that they write in these books. They can't go confirm nothing that they tell you in this fire. It's all made in a one-on-one in a small closed room and then it's so as something real and that cannot be debatable and you got an army of people defending the, <laughs> the tube you will because it's well sponsored they're not blocked on YouTube they get uh, promoted on YouTube they get promoted in all media networks it's truth like mine that get blocked because you know it's too big of a challenge for them they can't explain our questions. They can't explain what we tell you here. And so that they can't deal with us. I've been in a lot of them channels before I used to go to everybody's channel like a damn word. I was learning. I was I used to go to everybody's channel, ask them questions, the, uh, argue with them. I am, you know, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of debates over the years until I got tired of it and I grow up and I learned to stand on my own knowledge and I had to, all the stuff that I learned yeah became a bigger way that I you know became the master of my knowledge I had to become the master, I had to master, uh, that's what I'm doing, mastering my own knowledge, and that's what you use supposed to do, according to your experience, master the knowledge that you have, into the truth, filter it with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah, but if you read that book, telling me that every motherfucking thing in these books that they gave you is real, but you can travel till the end of the earth, yeah. They don't let us travel, they don't give us, they, we need permission from your kings and leaders to, to go anywhere, to do anything. And you're telling me that whatever the hell they say is real, you live living inside a plutonic box. Okay? Go find out what Plato, go find out what's real. Stop looking at the, the damn world and seeing shadows and thinking the shadows are real. You know what I'm saying? That's what these people do all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? They live inside the control system, as we explained to you in this, in this channel over and over and over again. Yeah. A religious government mind that controls all their leaders. Doesn't matter which one, doesn't matter where you get this leader. It's all under the religious government mind, and they must uh, also submit all the common beliefs given to him by this entity. This church entity I showed you that sits on top of all leadership. And I've told you all these leaderships are not there to save us. Because they've just been giving us more and more and more trouble, charging us taxes and all that crap. Yeah. And they're so corrupt. Yeah. 
that they don't even they even break their own laws, people. They break the natural law like nothing. And you still believe whatever they tell you? If somebody breaks the law, you can't trust nothing they tell you. He's a criminal. You understand that? So, being a criminal, breaking the law, and then teaching you history, right? Right? People that know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. People that don't, you're still in a platonic experiment. You're still a slave. Mind slave. A zombie. A lot of them are zombies now, people. The ambulance don't stop running up and down the road. I don't know who's falling all the time, but it's bad out here. Yeah, and I told you, it's getting worse and worse every day, less and less jobs. I see less people in the street. It's getting quiet. Right now. Yeah. People refuse to wake up after the, the being deceived. They're going to fall to their ego. And that's what's going to happen. Still got this is real life, man. Still there teaching the Bible like it's real. It's not real, people. It's not real and never was and never will be. The only thing there is if you have the brain to understand that it's not real and uh, get the real knowledge and get the hell out of me, Kim. Otherwise, Kim will consume you. Yeah, you, it's, it's a voodoo. You go around, you come to the same place. You go around, you come to the same place. You go around, you, go, you come. He kill you a thousand times, and you can never get out of there. You're always there. Yeah, even so, a film that it was like a, a, a spooky film about this uh, field. Yeah, you know, grass, grass, like real. What was the name? A few, a few. What was it? Quite a, some time ago. But the the, the fields had this lot, big grass everywhere, like, if you go inside, you get lost in there. But, like, the grass had them its own life. It's like the Bible. Yeah, the grass had its own life, you know what I'm saying? And the guy, like, first the, the, he heard some kid screaming in from the fields. Help! Help! Please help me! I can't find out! Uh, help me to get out of here! I can't find a way out! Yeah. And they all go, well, they go inside, they all go inside, and they all get lost in there, and they all can't get out, people. And the more they walk to the, in the field than they were, all the way in the center of the field, there was that big stone, big cobblestone there in the, in the center of the field, which is the Bible. Yeah? And uh, the, pla the place was, was uh, <laughs> you know, haunted, and the, the field would push them to that place, or he would, uh, when they got there, the other guy touched the stone, and he became a zombie. Straight away, the, the stone took his soul. And they show underneath the stone, there were like millions of souls, all clogged, trying, all, all trapped among each other. They couldn't get out. They were all trapped, glued in the walls, all everywhere, screaming, screaming. But they couldn't get out. Millions of souls. And this guy became a zombie. He turned around. He started killing the other people that were in the field. Then they fought, they fought him and uh, they killed him. And they all find out that they couldn't get out of the place. What happened was what's happening is that they keep coming back and they keep the same things keep happening inside the field. They keep dying and coming back, killing each other, coming back, doing the same thing. But they couldn't get out of the field. Until the end they figured out how to get out of the field, but he they couldn't get out of the field. He could throw somebody out of the field. 
for the top of the stone and it near the end of the uh, film so he threw it, there was a kid and he didn't want the kid to die there be trapped in the field so he threw the kid away and told the kid when they come back next time to warn him not to come back to the field because it keeps going back to the same they come in the car and then you know they go back to the field the kid is screaming and they go inside the field so this time the guy came out and told them not to go not to listen to this guy and just go home yeah was the only way he could say but the guy that did that his soul was stuck in the field and he couldn't get out it's the bible people it's the same thing they get you trapped in there in that field the bible is like these words they have life of themselves they wrap around you and the guy was trying to make like he was like trying to make nods to, to know the way back he, the guy last guy was not stupid he was like uh, you know, knocking this some some making like living uh, marks, you know, or something. So he knows the way he came, which he came, and then he can go back. But the field, because it was alive, it will move move things away and just be like just you know, like he never not he did nothing. So he got lost this time. Yeah, and he didn't know the way out. And could never come out yeah, until he touched the stone and find out that he couldn't come out. He was stuck in, inside the stone. That's the Bible. The stone. And the stone was about keeping their souls. The soul, the stone or the Bible is not about uh, saving your soul. It's about keeping your soul inside that cube. Forever, so even if you whatever come back, you you always in there. You can't get out. The spell is a is a is a ancient voodoo, yeah, and they would have to sacrifice the stone. Lock, loss, blood. The stone does not work without blood. Innocent blood, virgin, little babies. The stone needs that energy. And uh, that was the same, and I start thinking that's the same thing they do in the Bible, people. They all zombies. And they keep their souls. Jesus wants their soul so bad that he died and still wants their soul. That never came back. Lied, 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 lied. But you see, they believe. He got their soul. Can't let they you know, he control them. They all zombies now. Even though you see this, you can see they zombies because they they don't have no rational thinking. And so on. they contradict themselves, just like the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Torah. All of this shit contradicts itself because it is not about rational thinking. It's about keeping them trapped. That's why it has to contradict itself. If he doesn't contradict, they're going to be free. They're going to have rational thinking. In summer. So if I mix lies, good, uh, uh, truth and lies, you're going to be trapped. You're trapped. And you can think by yourself, you're trapped. There's no way out. Every year they're going to worship that book. They're going to hate each other. They're going to go to work, they're going to make leaders, they're going to talk about there's something, there's somebody that they have money. The only thing they have is money. They have no resources, they don't know nothing about the earth. They destroy the earth. The earth hates these people. You know that. The earth itself hates them because they 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 destroy the mother. That's not that. They destroy the mother of all and building uh, Satan. They hate the mother. Yeah, they don't teach you to eat from the mother. They teach you to hunt animals and kill animals to eat. Animals are souls, and they take their souls to the book. It's a book of all 
vortex yeah, that consumes soul. And like you would see in the film, the film will have become a man, like a man, but they didn't have faces, people. His head had a big hole in the middle. It was like a black hole. And it will swallow their souls inside it. And they will not get out of the field. It's the same like the Bible. They will consume their souls inside forever. The souls of the people, even the dogs, everything, animals, everything. They sacrificed babies and everything. There was a pregnant woman. They sacrificed and, and took the baby and sacrificed. Right there by the stone, took everything. Yeah. Because that's what the Bible do. He's a sacrifice, sacrificial group from, from day one. And he's not only going to sacrifice one guy, this is just a, a, a sketch. Jesus is a sketch of sacrifice. He's sacrificing all of them at the same time. He wants all their souls. This is what leadership is. The Bible tells you from, from the start. So when you see these Negroes talking about they want leadership, yeah, and that if you don't want leadership, you're a sucker, or you, you, you're a sick man, or you, you need help. No, 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 no. It's them that need help. It's them that are sick. It's them that are inside the cube who got their souls. Yes, and Sandra. The cube has got their souls. And they don't even know how the cube works. So Sandra. Because once they go play this leadership game, the cube owns them. There's no leadership that don't run by the cube. You can't be in the cube and play leadership outside the cube. Show me one that ain't. No leadership outside the cube. It's not a, all the cube. And this is why all of them get views on YouTube. Even if I can tell you, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. I'm your leader. Black leaders that come and tell you they are there to save you. You saw a lot of them. First they sacrificed them. And now you have some on YouTube. And YouTube gives them millions of views. Do you think they, YouTube will let me be leader over my people? If they even don't let even <laughs> don't even let me have a, a YouTube channel without deleting it? They're terrified of a guy like me. Not these guys that you see out there running them with millions of views on YouTube talking about uh, black people are suffering because of racism. Yeah. Uh, they are suffering because because uh, they mixing race and uh, Racism and everything goes back to racism. That they, oh, they, they killed our leaders and by Malcolm X and, and the other ones, and, 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 and we never can, can do not get nothing done because they always get to our leaders. What did I tell you? You're not going to have a leader in the cube and he's not under the supervision of the cube, he's not a slave of the cube. There is no such thing. You need to stop dreaming and be real. You need to be alive. We are alive people. We are dead people, man. Don't stop that. Once you're alive, you're going to see dead people. I told you years ago I see dead people everywhere. That believe in both and in falsehood. Yeah. These niggas in the Bible, I already told you, I can't even talk to them. They are, you know, mental distress. They're mentally healed. They need help. Nigga talk about you want to be your leader, you need help. That's not how you lead. By getting a lot of money and uh, have to buy it. You have to buy land. You have to buy land. 
the most high is not dealing with you. If you have to buy one, yeah, the most high is not dealing with you. You're not your slave. You're not free man. You are a slave. You have to admit your, 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 your condition. Stop fucking acting like you have something that you 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 going to be something when you steal a slave, lying to the people. I'm going to buy with their money? Who told you they're going to allow you to, to use their money to buy an island or to buy a continent or to buy any type of land that you deem to bring a nation of people to live there? And the beast is going to let you? Really? And he's going to give you millions of views on YouTube? Black people are going to be, you going to be free. We don't have nothing to do with religion. We don't have nothing to do with white men. And you believe that? Then you're a fool. That's why they had Fool's Day yesterday for you to celebrate your day. You know what I'm saying? That summer, this is getting long. And uh, I think I've already been giving you guys a headache, screaming out here, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, these are things that nobody's going to tell you on YouTube. And they will delete these videos. That's what is worse. That's what you got to think about. Yeah, you don't have to like me or nothing. Just think about that. Why they delete our videos? They delete the, the Brother Surf's video, you know what I'm saying? Because Brother Surf is a god. The Brother Surf have a technique when he do his video, you see that? Nobody can just, you know, even copy his video. Because you have to see, the zombies, they like to take your shit and copy and, 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 and use your words and everything. Yeah. But what I love about Berserk, when you do these videos, they can't do nothing with that. <laughs> and the video destroys them. There is no way they can go around these videos. And all YouTube can do is delete it. And block the channels and, and you know, no views or nothing. They all cowards. They all in simulation. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm, I love you all. Keep the instructions, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Self thinking. Self nations. You know what I'm saying? Before getting into rogue nations and contracts of leadership. Be careful. That's all I'm going to tell you. That I'm saying don't let them fool you with nothing at all. No, you can't believe nobody, especially if they on YouTube having a lot of views and a lot of, 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 of audience and YouTube he didn't delete him he didn't sanction him, he still got a lot of views you can't trust them, it's all part of the beast yeah, the beast have a lot of control of position out there the copycatters and everything, but they are not there for you yeah, uh, control of position, that's not that's not, I love you all